Sally wasn't sure if their morning bout had been heard by everyone in the family or not, this time it took place in the single car garage in the back of the house. As usual it was on the topic of Ted's dedication to his career, absence from his family, and Sally's feeling of being a single mom, more or less. Ted, with his own dreams of success and excitement about pursuing his mission in life felt frustrated about his wife not appreciating and joining him in his work. He wished she could, a, understand why he had to be away and, b, make an effort to come with him to the facility a few times a week. She's a CPA for God's sake. It's not like she doesn't have professional training, or the ability to contribute at a high level he thought. Sally liked work but she wanted to be home with her kids during this part of their lives, something she had thought Ted wanted as well they had discussed it ad nauseum before even Jordan came along. Then, once Hope Seattle began to experience great success, many of the things they had negotiated seemed to go up in smoke from Sally's viewpoint. It had all started when Sally asked Ted if he could help her with the baby instead of watching TV that morning. He made a sharp comment about gender roles. She made one back about his career. And the fireworks began. The argument went around and around and the more it did, the less empathy each seemed to feel for one another. Neither really wanted to compromise. Sally even began to wonder if Ted had her and the kids' best interests in mind. Ted had wondered that for some time. It was not a good path. As he had done a week and a half before, Ted left in a half, taking the van with him in his pyjamas leaving Sally to figure out the day's shopping and kids' activities via public transportation or leaning on friends. This can't go on. They both had thought as they parted ways that Monday morning. To add to the stress, Sally felt worried for Jordan. She knew that she hadn't been giving her the kind of time and guidance she desired and she also sensed that some of the added expectations were pushing her beyond her comfort level. I need help though. I don't know where else to turn. She is growing up, she is becoming a woman. But maybe I'm forcing it too quickly. Sally didn't want her daughter to feel like she had to navigate this complex time in life feeling like she didn't have her mom on her side, but she also had her own plate more than full. It was a catch-22. She sat in the front room of their 1960s home and looked at the grains in the wood floor. It really was a nice house, would have cost a third of what we paid if it was built back home in Kansas City, she thought. But as the sun filtered through the window and steam swirled from her coffee cup, she took a deep breath, she was happy to have it. The baby was finally asleep and Mindy was playing in the living room, these moments were golden for a mom of three and Sally hadn't been the best at taking advantage of them. I've got to find a way to create some stability around this place. 